Hello and welcome back for another Phantom Prize prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the Phantom chart and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, Phantom is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up to the next key area of resistance at around the 0.3075 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that we can watch out for a successful retest before we can continue gearing up to the next significant high at around the 0.3306 dollar mark we have also seen a very nice reaction of a target area that I've been giving you in my previous videos. Highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area, which was the minimum retestment area to the lower side in the formation of this higher ADU 12 count 2, which is an area that we have now fully maximized. And since we have fully maximized this target area, I've been saying to you that I'm expecting a very nice reaction to the upper side in the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3. And all this is playing out after we fully peaked in the formation of a larger ADU 12 count 1. And that played out after we saw our massive crash on the 10th of June in a breakdown move that gave us a low at around the 0.2127 dollar mark where we started a very nice recovery to the upside, where we first picked in this 1-2 setup. And after seeing the 1-2 setup fully maximize minimum target areas, we continued gearing up in this other 1-2 setup where we have now completed the formation of that with 1, seen a breakdown move in the formation of this with 2. And now we are reacting to this minimum retestment area for this second wave, and starting an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of a wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave I get a minimum target area at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.3975 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting Phantom to do here on the short term point of view. And those are my breakout targets. So all we need to do that is keep our eyes on is a break above resistance at around the 0.307 dollar mark. Watch out for a successful retest. Then watch out for a break above the significant high at around the 0.33 06 dollar mark and a break above that we can fully maximize minimum target areas for that with three then expect a pullback in the formation of that with four then continue gearing up in the formation of that with five and the moment we have a complete five wave structure to the upper side here on the charts then we can name that as a larger edge wave count one and that will be perfectly aligning with what i've been expecting here on the phantom chart on the long term point of view. So zooming out on the charts to give you my long term analysis on the phantom chart, you can see that after seeing our November lows last year, we saw a five wave structure to the upside, having the wave five, giving us a high at around the 0.65 dollar mark, completing the formation of this larger ADU 12 count one. Then we started a breakdown move in the formation of a larger ADU 12 count two fully maximizing minimum target areas and there are high chances that the moment we see a complete five wave structure here on the charts that is on the lower edge wave count that I have here on the charts that will be confirmation that we have a low in place for the second wave and we have started a very impulsive move to the upper side in the formation of these larger edge wave count three where I'm expecting the third wave for Phantom to get above the $1 mark. So for now, let's be patient and see whether Phantom is going to give us a complete five wave structure on the charts, followed by an ABC corrective structure and a break above significant highs to confirm to us that the start of an impulse has now started. Also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI, we are trading at around the 69 mark. 
Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you updated.